Hello again and welcome to the course titled Road Safety, Traffic and Equipment Coded CSS 443 My name is Dr. Ashibi Jacob Ineji, your course lecturer Well, in this uh, lesson for uh, today, we are going to be looking into rural accessibility and road safety solutions We'll be looking at uh, some uh, basic elements in this topic and uh, we'll be discussing them uh, very briefly okay uh, much contents are available in your uh, in your course material and I am sure that you will want to uh, look into that uh, with time okay all right so what are the intended learning outcomes for uh, this uh, lesson well at the end of this lesson you should be able to explain the importance or the significance of rural accessibility why is it important that uh, rural areas should be accessible you should also be able to uh, proffer viable solutions to solving urban traffic problems right remember the urban areas have numerous traffic issues and so um, we'll be discussing ways on how to solve those traffic problems and uh, you should be able to examine the various ways of solving road transport problems in general okay all right so that is it let's uh, begin to dig deep into uh, the main content of this lesson uh, let's look into uh, rural accessibility itself rural accessibility of course as we discussed in our previous lesson remains the core problems of rural areas it remains the major problem uh, of of rural area okay um, it includes the planning and location of public facilities that need to be assessed by rural dwellers okay uh, public facilities such as hospitals uh, schools marketplaces etc okay so uh, rural accessibility need uh, has to do with the planning and location of such public facilities and how the rural dwellers will be able to assess them okay and uh, of course how are they able to assess it uh, through roads right and uh, you know that um, like we said rural accessibility is a major problem because uh, although the cost of transportation may be cheap but then um, because sometimes people have to use their feet to walk long distances uh, even though they are not it doesn't have some uh, they are not paying physical money to make such distances but the time consumed and the stress involved in making such movements are usually unbearable okay and so uh, the problem of accessibility is the main issue of uh, uh, rural areas now uh, rural accessibility has been uh, linked has been implicated to the level of poverty in the rural areas because uh, the areas are not accessible and of course economic activities do not boom in those areas and uh, the uh, rural dwellers do not have access to basic uh, public facilities as we have mentioned before schools markets hospitals and the rest right so uh, if uh, there is improvement to rural accessibility um, then uh, there will be a significant positive impact on the poverty reduction among the rural dwellers right so construction of viable roads siting of uh, viable public facilities where people will be able to uh, assess them will make much more impact right in uh, reducing the level of poverty in rural areas okay let's uh, quickly look at uh, how to address the rural accessibility problems well in summary uh, the millennium development goals mgds have captured uh, the different key areas to address in order to uh, solve the rural accessibility uh, problem and uh, these um, elements are contained in goal 1 to 8 uh, to eradicate extreme hunger and poverty all right that means uh, this uh, extreme hunger and poverty is an offshoot 
of uh, the inaccessibility of a rural area so if there are good roads where people can uh, uh, transport their produce markets where people can engage in different economic activities uh, and of course engage in different livelihood uh, hunger and poverty will be reduced in the rural areas okay to achieve a universal primary education of course um this should be uh, a, this is a good goal to achieving accessibility where primary education are cited good roads are constructed um it's a major point in uh, addressing the problem of accessibility because people will tend to uh, migrate to such areas uh roads which should be, will be constructed uh, for people to access such institution okay to promote gender equality and power and empower women uh to uh, have better access to health care services to ensure environmental sustainability and to develop the global partnership for um uh, development now if all of these goals are being addressed uh chances are that there, there will be significant impact in addressing the problem of rural accessibility Okay. All right. Now we have dealt with two key points. Let's now take our class activity. Uh, here you will have to attempt this question on your own. All right. You don't need to submit to anywhere to anybody. You need to submit it to yourself. Assess yourself and see if you will be able to deal with this question. Uh, explain the relationship between rural accessibility and poverty. We have actually um, discussed that in brief. Uh, you should be able to expand on that. Also, look into your course material and ensure you are able to deal with this question. All right, uh, very quickly, let's move on to solving urban traffic uh, problems. Uh, urban traffic have, uh, like we said, numerous uh, problems. Um, as you can see here, uh, problem of transportation all right um now uh traffic management is the key element in solving urban traffic problems and it requires some physical measures usually referred to as traffic engineering now uh, the concept of traffic engineering is used to encapsulate all of those physical measures that are put in place to manage traffic okay it has the potential to achieve rapid reduction in air pollution Okay. Now, remember, we are talking about urban traffic problems, and one of the key problems here is what air pollution. Air pollution by uh, traffic management, air pollution can be reduced. Okay. All right. Um, now, how do we improve on uh, traffic? How do we uh, wish to um, towards an improved traffic management? How do we? Uh, have a better traffic management especially in the urban areas okay one um, is to ensure that uh, the uh, there's reduction in air pollution all right the emission from those uh, motorized uh, equipment should be reduced all right and once emission is reduced we are definitely going to have that reduction in air pollution then bus priority system the system where you have uh, buses with large spaces that where people can sit comfortably without congestion should also be taken into consideration then vehicles um, restraints all right uh, uh, restraints on vehicle use where vehicles are not allowed around certain areas okay that also should help improve traffic management then uh, promote traffic incident detection where there are uh, heavy traffic it there should be procedures to quickly identify such areas and uh, swing into action to decongest such traffic then protecting sensitive locations uh, locations where people are not supposed to assess um, easily should also be uh, protected to avoid uh, traffic around those areas give you one example like the pedestrian walkways should be protected such that um, vehicles not run into those areas uh, okay and uh, of course try to uh, hinder people from using that very area okay remember when we're talking about traffic 
we're not just looking about vehicles all right we're talking about human movement as well all right uh, so the pedestrian area is a sens sensitive location of our uh, movement all right um now let's uh, look into um, uh, solving road transport problems in general we have talked about urban traffic problem but let's just look in general um, the issue of uh, road transport problems right there are four key points here uh, one is planning and investing and investment practices the other is strategies to uh, limit automobile circulation the number of vehicles in circulation uh, the third one is alleviating alleviation of congestion problems and the fourth one is uh, protecting sensitive location we have already discussed this all right so um now all of these have uh, sub uh, topics okay let's take for instance uh, uh, strategies to limit automobile circulation prohibition of downtown circulation there are areas where uh, you don't need uh, too much circulation of vehicles around those areas uh, that could cause heavy traffic problems then tools all right toll gates can also be enforced where vehicles are heavily controlled and uh, traffic is reduced within a particular uh, area okay then uh, ramp construction to help vehicles navigate the city easily uh, to help uh, uh, vehicles make a uh, reverse u-turn right and all of that traffic signal synchronization uh, the uh, traffic signals on our roads should uh, if they are properly synchronized to match real-time traffic situation uh, for instance some roads who have who experience heavy traffic in the mornings uh, the traffic signals should be synchronized to give uh, priority to those direction in the morning some in the evenings all right so the traffic signals should also be synchronized to give priority to uh, those directions around the heavy congestion period incident management where there are uh, you have an accident occur or some uh, road uh, disruption it should be it should be swiftly cleared all right quick attention to road incidents would help uh, solve uh, road transport problems okay now we have high occupancy vehicle lanes there are lanes for heavy duty vehicles uh, should be reserved all right for those vehicles to use uh, traffic signal control systems all right all of these uh, bus priority we talked about space uh, portable buses are provided to avoid congestion uh, restraints on vehicle use we have also explained all of that now all of these put together are again are, uh, elements that you can use to uh, solve road transport problems in general okay uh having said that you can take your class activity too now uh proper possible ways of solving urban or road transport problems just put everything together all right discuss them um in your own words all right you can also look into the uh, course material to have more details and i'm sure once you are able to uh, deal with this then you are good to go all right thanks for uh, watching this video until uh, till the end i will talk to you again in our next uh, topic bye for now